In the rugged landscapes of 1976 cinema, the outlaw Josie Wales stands as a testament to Clint Eastwood's enduring prowess both in front of and behind the camera. A tale of revenge and redemption set against the backdrop of post-Civil War America, the film invites audiences to reflect on the cost of vengeance and the complexities of human nature. As the narrative unfolds, viewers are prompted to consider a pivotal question. Out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? This classic Western doesn't merely serve as a cinematic spectacle. It has carved a place in the hearts of many, prompting cherished memories associated with its characters and storyline. Do you have a personal recollection tied to this iconic film? Perhaps a vivid scene etched in your memory or an unexpected connection to the characters? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now let's delve into some intriguing tidbits about the production. Did you know that The Outlaw Josie Wales was originally directed by Philip Kaufman before Eastwood took the reins? The transition marked a turning point in the film's trajectory, shaping it into the gritty masterpiece we know today. The narrative's evolution mirrored the protagonist's journey, navigating through the rugged terrain of the American West. Furthermore, the film boasts an ensemble cast, each member contributing to the vivid tapestry of characters. From Chief Dan George's sage-like wisdom to Sandra Locke's resilient spirit, the performances weave seamlessly into the narrative fabric. As we explore the nuances of this cinematic gem, consider the depth each actor brought to their respective roles. Now back to you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this Western masterpiece? Share your thoughts and let the conversation unfold. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Captivated by the sweeping landscapes and riveting performances, the outlaw Josie Wales remains a timeless exploration of justice, redemption, and the resilience of the human spirit. So, which part of this tale resonated most with you? In the outlaw Josie Wales, Clint Eastwood takes on the role of Josie Wales, a character originally portrayed as 32 years old in the novel, but played by the 45-year-old Eastwood in the 1976 film. His on-screen counterpart, Laura Lee, was written as 22 in the book, while Sandra Locke, who played her, was 31 during the filming in 1975. Notably, Bill McKinney, known for his unsettling role in Deliverance, plays Captain Redlegs Terrell. This adds an interesting layer to the film, as McKinney became famous for his chilling portrayal of the squeal, like a pig mountain man in the earlier movie. John Landis, the director of National Lampoon's Animal House, spotted John Vernon in the outlaw Josie Wales and later cast him in his comedy classic. This demonstrates the impact of Eastwood's film on subsequent casting decisions in Hollywood. These age-related disparities and casting choices shed light on the dynamics at play during the production of the outlaw Josie Wales. Eastwood's decision to take on the lead role despite the character's younger age in the source material showcases his ability to embody diverse roles. Meanwhile, the inclusion of Bill McKinney from Deliverance adds a touch of familiarity and curiosity for audiences. In a ripple effect, John Vernon's presence in the outlaw Josie Wales paved the way for his future involvement in Animal House. Such interconnected casting decisions underscore the collaborative and influential nature of the film industry, where one role can lead to unexpected opportunities in subsequent projects. In summary, The Outlaw Josie Wales not only explores the rugged tale of its titular character, but also highlights the intricacies of casting decisions and age gaps in Hollywood productions, leaving a lasting impact on the careers of those involved. The Outlaw Josie Wales, a 1976 Western film, presents interesting details that often go unnoticed. Take, for instance, Sandra Locke's portrayal of Laura Lee. Her natural brunette hair, a departure from her usual bleached look, adds authenticity to the character. It's a subtle nuance that reflects a departure from her typical on-screen appearance. Another noteworthy aspect is the portrayal of Civil War-era Gatling guns in the film's massacre scene. The movie features model 1867 or later versions, not the historically accurate model 1861. This choice, though subtle, impacts the portrayal of the weapon's rate of fire, deviating from the reality of the Civil War period. Equally intriguing is the bounty on Josie Wales, set at $5,000 in the film. In today's terms, that reward would equate to approximately $87,000. This financial context offers a glimpse into the economic landscape of the movie's narrative. These nuanced details contribute to the film's authenticity and provoke thought on historical accuracy. Whether it's Locke's hair, the choice of weaponry, or the bounty's real-world value, each element weaves into the broader tapestry of the outlaw Josie Wales, 
offering viewers a richer understanding of the movie's intricacies. Chief Dan George's unforgettable performances in The Outlaw Josie Wales One standout aspect of The Outlaw Josie Wales is Chief Dan George's remarkable portrayal of Lone Waity, a Native American character. Unlike many films of its time, The Outlaw Josie Wales received acclaim from Native American viewers for its non-stereotypical representation of their culture. Chief Dan George's performance as Lone Waity added depth and authenticity to the narrative, breaking away from cliche depictions prevalent in Western movies. Interestingly, Chief Dan George faced a unique challenge during filming due to his age. To ensure a flawless delivery of his lines, Clint Eastwood, the lead actor and director, employed a creative approach. Recognizing Chief Dan George's difficulty in remembering lines, Eastwood encouraged him to recount stories instead. This unorthodox method not only showcased Dan George's natural storytelling ability, but also contributed to the genuine and engaging portrayal of Lone Waity. The movie's impact extended beyond its on-screen excellence. In a behind-the-scenes anecdote, famed music producer David Jeffen shared a revealing encounter with Eastwood. When Jeffen suggested trimming the film's duration, Eastwood's unyielding commitment to his vision became evident. Eastwood's tough reputation, as attested by Jeffen, sheds light on the director's unwavering dedication to his work and his assertive stance in shaping the final product. In summary, Chief Dan George's non-stereotypical portrayal of Lone Waity adds a layer of authenticity to the outlaw Josie Wales that resonated with Native American audiences. The unconventional approach to filming, as seen in Eastwood's handling of Chief Dan George's lines, underscores the film's commitment to delivering a unique and compelling narrative. Furthermore, the behind-the-scenes clash with Jeffen offers a glimpse into Clint Eastwood's unapologetic dedication to his craft, ensuring that the outlaw Josie Wales remains a timeless classic in the Western genre. As we ride off into the sunset of our conversation, I encourage you to let the dust settle and ponder the timeless journey of the outlaw Josie Wales. As the credits roll on this cinematic classic, let the echoes of Clint Eastwood's enigmatic character resonate within you. What trails has Josie blazed through your memories? Was it the rugged landscapes, the unwavering pursuit of justice, or perhaps the complex dance of redemption? This tale, like the winding rivers of the West, weaves through the fabric of our own narratives. How has the spirit of a lone warrior grappling with the shadows of the past found its reflection in your own experiences? Share your musings, your recollections, and the echoes of Josie's resolute spirit that linger in your thoughts. Let this be a campfire for collective reflections, where the embers of shared memories glow bright. Whether you've ridden shotgun with Josie through the prairies or revisited this masterpiece from the comfort of your own homestead, your voice adds a unique hue to the vast panorama of appreciation. So saddle up your thoughts and let them gallop into the conversation. After all, every story gains depth when we ride together. Thank you for sharing this moment of reflection. Your insights are the stars that illuminate the vast cinematic sky of shared experiences. Until our trails cross again, happy trails, partner.